Hi, I'm Allie, and this is my husband, Justin. For the last seven months, we've been living out of our tiny home on wheels. Since the van is DIY, we've come across some things that could be done better or found we don't need certain amenities you might find in a normal home. Hit subscribe and come along with us as we continue to perfect and fix our van. Well, I regret to inform you guys that we have a broken drawer, so add it to the list. So now in addition to fixing the drawer, we're also hoping to fix the water leak, get the water heater out, pin down our transition strips in the front, and build a laptop holding shelf. So the drawer is kind of a pain in the butt, but let's do it. It's really freaking hot outside, so I think I need to do a quick wardrobe change. Much better. <laughs> Alright, we can get to work now. What the heck? I want to change into a tank top too. Ooh, that's the good stuff. So it's 82, but it feels like 88, which actually doesn't sound that bad, but the humidity is high because it's been non-stop rain. Gotta love Missouri summers. So I think the fact that we keep having issues with our drawer is the fact that this drawer is pretty heavy. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe take some weight out of it. We have some pretty old stuff in here we never touch, so. I don't know if this is fixable. We might have to replace this rail. And we are Home Depot bound. Kind of ironic, like just as we get started, this happens. But you just gotta roll with the punches, right? Now, is it a building day without making a trip to Home Depot? I don't think so. Going to work on replacing this drawer rail while Justin starts the plumbing. Because we don't want to waste too much time on that because it'd be nice to have water in our van again. The drawer rails, we want to make sure we're putting them exactly in the same spot that they were before. So when we switch them out, the drawer still goes in perfectly. So I'm just going to draw around the entire edge of the drawer rail to ensure it goes in the same spot and hopefully hopefully I don't regret saying this but makes our life easier so <laughs> so I realized I made kind of a dumb mistake when I redid this stuff where this is still going in at an angle so I'm gonna switch it so it goes straight over, straight down, straight into the tank. So we went to the store, we picked up some extra elbows, some extra clamps. We've got the extra tubing from my parents' attic. So let's make something happen. Wow, well that's not ideal. So, as you probably saw there, the fitting just popped right out when I pulled it off. So that's not a good sign, because it was clearly not screwed in very well. So we got it all hooked up, everything is clamped. We're gonna fill the water tank up a little bit and see if it leaks. I don't think it's leaking, babe. Well, has it hit the fitting yet? Yeah, it's past it. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. I'm not even kidding. Oh, nope. I got water. Alright, I'll go turn it off. So this usually has this piece on it and it's like just makes it look a lot cleaner. But they were like stickers, as you can see, because there's tons of dust on that. And it just didn't stay. So I'm going to drill out some holes on the top and put like a screw in there. That way it stays because... What's more annoying than a transition slip that doesn't stay? Boom! Transition slip, and it's not going anywhere. Can we try putting the drawer in? See if I do it okay? Yes, let's do that. It's like perfect. 
All right, so now we've got to wait for the water tank to drain empty again before I can mess with the water leak or the water heater at this point. So I'm gonna see if I can tackle our check engine light. As we've mentioned before, we've got this thing where uh, we get a bunch of these warning lights when we're driving in wet weather. I think that if I check my check engine light with the reader, it'll tell me which wheel the sensor's on. So we're gonna give that a shot and see if we can knock that out too. Code 038A, I think that's the one I'm looking for. It looks like, according to my code reader, it is the rear right wheel. Which I'm assuming that's the passenger. So rear passenger side is where the sensor is at. So we'll take a look back there, see if we can find a corroded sensor and hopefully be done with it. Because we'll fix it. You know what else I want to be done with? Repairing the van. Our water issues. It sounds like it's pretty done, right? Can, I, can we turn it off and I go back in the driveway? Sure. Alright, turn it off and let's go back in the driveway. Here's the key. We are back at a slant, therefore the water tank, all the water should fall to the back. And Justin can continue the plumbing fiasco. <clears throat> oh, gross. <laughs> so, while Justin is still tackling the water tank, issue we're having. I'm going to work on this drawer that we have. So I don't think that we've talked about this drawer that much. It's basically just overflowing with things that we don't use that often like Polaroid film, film camera. We still plan on keeping that stuff but maybe just putting it in the garage. Not to mention the hinge is like stripped out. So I need to, I kind of did what I do, did on this big drawer is I, I just added little shim things inside the holes so they can drill and hold well. So I don't know, I'm over explaining this probably, but I'm just going to fix this drawer, okay? Got it. This is the problem. That went a lot faster than I thought it would, which leads me to believe that I did something wrong, but I'm just going to put the drawer in and see what happens. I found another problem. This isn't sitting still. I guess I'll fix that first. This project seems too easy. Two seconds later and I got it tight, so I don't think this is gonna work. What the heck? I think I'm just lucky today. Sorry, Justin. So we're gonna go on to attempt number, what, like three, four, five, something like that. And we're going I'm going to, this plastic is poly which is the same plastic that the water tank is made out of, which is the same plastic that the water epoxy putty we have sticks to. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix up some epoxy putty, cake it all over the threads really good, and then screw it in, and then we'll let it dry. And hopefully that works, because then this will be glued in place. Any plumbers out there, I'm sorry. I'm probably butchering your job right now. So. That white stuff is the water weld, so I wrapped it on the thread, screwed it in, and then kind of smushed the excess to hug around the tank. Hopefully that works. I'm really not sure if it's going to, but I'm hopeful. While that dries and the tank is still empty, we'll move right along to getting the water heater out. So hopefully this won't be as bad as the water tank. Babe, we're gonna need to boogle mine more clamps. Hi, Don. I guess we'll go to Michael's since we'll be out. I didn't mention I want to go to Michael's because I want to build something. I'm not sure what, but something to hold our laptops because right now they're just kind of floating around the van. Sometimes we hide them behind pillows. It'd be nice for them to have a home. We got some stuff. Not exactly what we went in there to get, but I don't regret any of it. Yeah, I'll give you some. So, there wasn't supposed to be any rain today, but it's looking pretty gnarly, so we're gonna try to rush. Apparently it's gonna rain, 50% chance. And our fans are open, so we gotta rush. 
We got the goods. No rain yet, but it's literally starting to get windy. The temperature just dropped. We're definitely gonna be getting some rain. So, I've been kind of feeling like I want to add a little bit more decorations in our van. I want to get a mirror and I want to have something to hold our laptops, but that's kind of in the works. It's gonna happen when I find the perfect thing. What I can do though, is I wanted to put our Polaroid somewhere other than the back doors, because a lot of times when you have your back doors open, like if it rains or something, they get wet, and I don't want our Polaroids being there and getting ruined. For Michael's, we just bought a little bit of twine and these little baby clothespins. And so I think I'm gonna hang these above the table and put all of our Polaroids on there. And I think it'll just make it look a little bit more homey, a little more lived in. So right now we really don't have any decorations, so. So here it is. I think it looks pretty cute and we'll just add more Polaroids as we travel more, which hopefully will be soon. So let's see how Justin is doing. So the water heater used to be mounted right here. So this was the cold water in, the hot water out. I just cut the lines and then pieced them together right here. So now there's just one. So that one was easy at least. Finally I finished something. Woo! I don't know what that feels like. One of the other pain areas for us have been in this charging station. We call it our charging station, but really don't charge that much in here. And it's all these baskets. After being on like a windy, curvy road, they usually just fly out. How annoying. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna just do what we did in our kitchen cabinets, keep everything in place there. I don't see why it wouldn't work, so. That should be an easy fix. I gotta, I love bungees. Honestly, I'm really not sure why we didn't do that sooner. That literally took like three seconds. So I know this looks like a wreck because there's just so much going on, but I think those bungees are gonna work great. Have we shown off your masterpiece? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Look at all of the room. I am so beyond excited. Justin, I love you. This is huge for us because we literally have not had like much storage at all under our sink. We were lucky to fit two of these bottles hanging here. So, by the way, I'm really I'm I'm second guessing my Polaroid wall. Can you comment down below if I should keep it or get rid of it? Does it look tacky or does it look cute? Let me know, please. Well, we actually got most of our to-do list done today, which was pretty cool. Very so, unlike us. <laughs> we're gonna end on a good note and call that the end of today's video. So if you liked it, definitely give it a giant thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button because we do post new videos every single Sunday. We'll see you next week. Bye. Melting. Ow, what the heck was that for? I'm waking here. I've been kind of feeling. I've been kind of feeling. Can you be quiet?